the after school center was full of happy children from the streets and were participating in different activities. Among the activities were cleaning and cutting their hair for male and females doing their hair and nails. A senior public relations officer in the Ministry of Gender Equality and Child Welfare said the event was aimed at getting the children's roaming streets of Venduk under one roof and make them feel that they are not neglected but part of their society. Charlie Matengu said the center has been home to many and wishes to continue in that spirit. He said the ministry managed to get children from the streets to homes and schools, a task he described as not easy, saying at times children run away because they feel they belong on the streets and no one cares about them. He mentions the number of stakeholders who have been part and parcel in the struggle to make the exercise a success and ask them to continue doing so. There are also stake other stakeholders that are involved, you know, like Napa, for example, they talk to them about repro reproductive health and um, all the sex education. We have the Ministry of uh, Health on board as well. Uh, we have the Ministry of uh, Youth and uh, the Ministry of Youth, basically, who also come up and, and uh, you know we, we try to see how they can actually assist them through their youth service programs. Matengu said the ministry wishes to extend events of such to other regions with street children. Franciscus Basson is the co-founder of the Friends of the Homeless Organization. The organization was founded by the Joshua Ministry Church and aims to help the needy living on the streets. What we are basically doing is to collect uh, food stuff and uh, clothing and other material that are usable. And then we hand this out to uh, the homeless people. Basson said they have joined the gender ministry in assisting those in need. At the event, a counseling session was held for the children and adults who were part of the celebration. For NBC News, Salomo Tenga, Venduk.